Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs and Turnbull Insurance Service since 1866 present Mohawk Valley Living. Today we're rebroadcasting our road trip to Deansboro for those who may have missed it last week due to the sporting event. But we managed to include some new footage not seen last week. Good morning and welcome to Mohawk Valley Living. Today we are going to Deansboro, FKA Deansville, which is fancy lawyer language for formerly known as. It's been five years since we last featured Deansboro, and in the meantime, quite a few new farms have cropped up. So join us as we visit a few of them and enjoy the beautiful countryside. It's time for the Skinner and Demulis road trip. We stop in to see the guys in Richfield Springs, where they're ready to set you up with a test drive in one of their new or pre-owned vehicles. This week, we visit Deansboro, located on Route 12B, five miles south of Clinton. This small, unassuming hamlet rewards those who take the time to explore it, revealing beautiful scenery, interesting people, and a fascinating history. To learn more, we visit the Town of Marshall Historical Society at the Town Hall in Deansboro and talk with town historian Dorothy McConnell. Uh, well, Deansboro was called Deansville early on. Uh, it was actually settled by the Brothertown Indians, and then uh, it was, uh, and uh, Samson Ockham was the, uh, the man that brought the Indians here. And then after that, uh, Thomas Dean was their uh, agent, and uh, that's why uh, we call it Deansboro. It originally was called Deansville. And we're, uh, 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 in, in 1894, it was changed to Deansboro because they mixed up the uh, uh, mail with Dansville, New York. One of the Hamlet's historic landmarks is the Deansboro Hotel. Built in the 1870s, it has always served as a hotel and bar, except, of course, during Prohibition, when it was a grocery store. It is currently being restored by local Andy Williams, who hopes to reopen as a bar and restaurant midsummer. Turn it back into a pub, I guess, more than anything. Some simple food, good, what do you call it? Uh, Oh, comfort food, that's the name of it, yeah, comfort food and entertainment on week the weekends, band. So why are you band. doing this? Are you from this area? Why are you doing this? More or less for a job. <laughs> I don't have a job anymore, so I bought, bought my own job, really. Make my name the headlight of Sundance, and I got no more written left to burn. So honey, don't look for me in the morning. Don't cry my name out. Job in the city, I got somewhere better. I've got to be. I'm gonna watch the sunset in the desert. On Main Street, across from the town hall, is the old Deansville Forge. This blacksmith shop has an important new project the restoration of an 1861 Parrot rifle for the Oneida County Historical Society's Civil War Memorial. Well, they're Civil War era. They're dated to a lot of the castings. The, uh, the carriages came out of Water Elite Arsenal. The barrels were forged at uh, the Military Academy uh, on the Hudson, West Point. And uh, they're just, uh, there was very little woodwork. We had to do some iron work, not a whole lot, but uh, we were gonna try to make one one for the historical out of three, but as it turned out, there were actually three different carriages, different eras. So the one that they're getting is right on Civil War for date and, and authenticity. And what's the trick to restoring something like this? What's the... Just to have a lot of time and be an old man doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> We have to let Maury get back to work. 
but you can see this restored Civil War cannon in its new home, a Greek Revival Pavilion on the south lawn of the Oneida County Historical Society. The special dedication is Sunday, July 15th at 1 p.m. in observance of the Civil War sesquicentennial. More from Deansboro after the break. Just trying to find my way back home. Watch Mohawk Valley Living every Just Sunday at 7.30 a.m. and 11.35 p.m. on WKTV. And check out what's new on MohawkValleyLiving.com. Just trying to find my way back home. Here's what's hot on the lot at Skinner and Demulis. We've got a hot one, a 2005 Chrysler 300, less than 60,000 miles, only $99.95. Just one of the great pre-owned vehicles at Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs. You go the extra mile for your small business and should expect the same from your insurance company. For over 140 years, Turnbull Insurance Service has been committed to local small business. For your commercial coverage, turn to the company ready to go that extra mile. Turn to Turnbull. Visit the Farmers Museum in Cooperstown for a step back in time weekends throughout the summer. June 16th and 17th is the Fireman's Muster. See trucks, pumpers, and hoses and take part in an old-fashioned bucket brigade. Visit FarmersMuseum.org for info and step back in time. Visit North Star Orchards for your spring planting. You can grow what North Star grows, from a variety of fruit trees to blueberry bushes. The greenhouses are overflowing with the area's largest variety of annuals, herbs, vegetable plants, and hanging baskets at North Star Orchards in Westmoreland. Tom's Natural Foods is your connection to local farms for natural and organic fruits and vegetables, meats, eggs, cheeses, and other milk products at Tom's Natural Foods in Clinton, naturally. Why do contractors and do-it-yourselfers shop Lincoln Davies? It's the superior grade lumber, the value for the money, the 140 years and six generations of customer service. Since 1872, Lincoln Davies has delivered superior lumber, value, and service, and they're not about to change things now. Celebrating 140 years at the same location, just 10 minutes south of New Hartford on Summit Road between Routes 12 and 8. Lincoln Davies, building them like they used to. The Windfall Dutch Barn in Salt Springville is open for the summer and is the perfect place for weddings, graduations, family reunions, and special events. Call 518-993-2239. Have a tropical adventure and walk among hundreds of free-flying butterflies, tropical birds, plants, lizards, and frogs at the Pop Butterfly Conservatory. It's an unforgettable experience for all ages. Open seven days a week on Route 7 in Oneonta. Loyalty is something you can't sell Not something that you find in a wishing well Special thanks to Turnbull Insurance Service and Mark and Jim Turnbull. Their continued support makes the show possible. They'll take care of you, take care of your friends There's nothing better you can do Look at the clock The Utica, Clinton, and Shenango Valley Railroad extended the line to Deansville here in 1867. And uh, when you arrived at this point, it's interesting to look at the front of the station because from here to Utica, it was 13.69 miles. How precise. Alongside this historic train station is a, a towpath trail and every year there is a run uh, in memory of Ruth Allen. This year's will be on Saturday, August 11th, 2012. So if you would like a first-hand taste of the uh, trail, come out on that date. For more information about the run and the Marshall Day celebration, visit MohawkValleyLiving.com. If you like used bookstores, keep your eyes open for the Berry Hill Bookshop, just over a mile south of downtown Deansboro. 
Located in a big old barn, Berry Hill Bookshop has been run by the Swarthout family since 1968. Berry Hill Bookstore has been here for 44 years, and there is quite a collection of books here. If you're looking for something, you'll find it here because there are over 70,000 books in this one building. And as it turns out, I was looking for um, Jack Henke's book. There's only one of those left. He's my neighbor. And uh, the ones that I had here have been sold out. Ooh, <laughs> all two of them. Loomis gang lived long ago near Sangerfield. Counterfeited, murdered, and stole. They sold stolen horses they had hidden in the swamp. A ruthless bunch of criminals, I'm told. As legend goes, Wash Loomis still rides his horse. Don't leave Deansboro without stopping in at Chris's Country Cafe. And while you're here, be sure to have the specialty of the house, which are the hamburgers made on home-baked buns. They are incredible, along with everything else on the menu. And for breakfast, people come from miles away, in particular for the Arizona omelet, uh, that he will not give the secret, right? S secret came from Arizona and whatever. Uh, I'll have to make it a point to come back to try those famous omelets and to come here on a Sunday for the Eggs Benedict, because I'm not kidding when I say Eggs Benedict are my favorite of all breakfasts. What brought me to Deansboro? Well, I've been in Arizona 20 years. I was born and raised here in the area, and I just decided, you know, my family's all here, and I figured I'd been gone long enough. Um, got in the restaurant business out there, and I opened up the very first P.F. Chang's, and I opened them up all over the country, and that was a great experience, and um, worked for a few other rest big restaurant chains out there, and just decided to come home, and found out about this place being available, and decided to go out on my own and see what it was like. The Country Cafe is open every day for breakfast and lunch, and is open Wednesday nights featuring a special menu, and Friday nights with fresh fish. Another busy place at lunchtime is Deansboro Superette, the local gathering place where everyone knows everything about everybody. We find out that not only is our next interviewee celebrating a birthday, but that his favorite lunch is Lebanese falafels. Michelle whips up their Middle Eastern specialty, and John writes a special birthday message. We head around the corner to Schwartz's Forge and surprise Joel with a birthday lunch. He explains why there's nothing better than a Deansboro Superette falafel. He returns the gesture with a memento, a golden ornament from their current project, a beautiful staircase for a New York City apartment building. I started off as a jeweler, doing goldsmithing and silversmithing, and eventually I, I had seen blacksmithing and said, oh, that looks good. Uh, nobody liked my jewelry, it was too big. So and that was back in 1970. And I started forging, and now I make uh, house jewelry. So it got bigger and bigger. Bigger and bigger, and uh, now I'm the specialty into uh, architectural metals and mostly stair work. I mean, we've done everything from a modern glass stair to uh, traditional French work that you see behind me. Um, we've done contemporary work out of sheet and plate. So we've, the, actually the most interesting thing is that nothing's the same. Oh, I love doing what I do. and. Uh, most days I really like going to work. I particularly like doing the work in the forge, uh, which I don't get to do as much as I used to. As you walk through New York City, you may very well find uh, staircases where the railings were forged right here in Deansboro. This one with the gold leaf work is going to Park Avenue. And if you go to Washington, D.C., well, before we do that, if you were to go inside of Madonna's apartment, the railings inside there were made here in Deansboro and go to Washington, D.C. And the president's guest house, Blair House, the uh, balconies right here were made in Deansboro, New York, right here. To see more work from Schwartz's Forge, visit schwartzesforge.com.
more from Deansboro after the break. Oh, it's not what you take or give, and it's here I want to live. Yes, I, I'm making this bed in my own. The automobile has gone through many changes through the years, but the Turnbull family's commitment to local drivers has not. Researching and selecting the best coverage for you with unparalleled service, claims handling, and settlement. Turn to a local company with four generations of knowledge and experience. Turn to Turnbull. Dream big at the Women's Leadership Conference at Minnowbrook. Life coach Teresa Huggins hosts a weekend of discovery and personal growth at the lavish Grand Lodge at Blue Mountain Lake. Visit TeresaDHuggins.com to register for the Leadership Conference. Hi, Dr. Tom. Bringing your cat to the Paris Hill Cat Hospitals on Sundays is a part of Mohawk Valley Living. Come inside and see why. Paris Hill Cat Hospital, this is Lindsay. How can I help you? Your cat is losing weight and you need an appointment? and you're only available on the weekend. Sure, I have an appointment Sunday with Dr. Karen. Does that fit into your schedule? Okay, we'll see you then. Thank you. We're open seven days a week because we know that your cat can become ill anytime. The Paris Hill Cat Hospital, quality care for your cats and kittens. Taste the homemade difference at Maria's Pasta Shop. Homemade lasagna, manigot, stuffed shells, ravioli, and more. Ready-made dinners, make at home, and party trays at Maria's Pasta Shop, Oneida Street in Utica. When you shop Milan's Market, you'll be the grill master. That's because every hot dog, beef patty, and sausage is made by Bob Milan himself. Find everything for your next cookout from store-made meats to fresh salads and tabbouleh at Milan's Market at the Four Corners in Clark Mills. For the most unique shopping experience, visit the Little Falls Antique Center and the shops at 25 West. Over 40 local vendors, all under one roof. Antique lovers can spend hours perusing thousands of ever-changing antiques and collectibles. Upstairs at the shops, you'll find something for everyone. Handmade crafts, jewelry and clothing, fine art, food and kitchen gadgets, books and home furnishings. Shop local at the Little Falls Antique Center and the shops at 25 West. Always worth the drive at Canal Place in Little Falls. Please forgive me He held her close and kissed her Much of the beauty of the villages we explore is owed to their trees, and no one knows the area's trees better than Harry Cresswell. He's planted many of them and can show you examples in almost any community. People may pass trees by taking them for granted, but not Harry. We graft the trees, things like that, that they don't do now. So we got a little knowledge there, and then I went to work for the Davy Company, and they had the schools for it, and all kinds of education programs. So have you planted a lot of trees in the area? I planted thousands of them. Planted 1,200 in Syracuse in one shot. In all, every village around here, I probably planted 100 in this Clinton here maybe, a lot of them. And what's it like seeing a tree that you planted towering high? Oh, I like it. Yeah? What's it's, it like? It's nice. Mm -hmm. It's better than looking at a Playboy magazine. <laughs> If you need a tree planted, trimmed, moved, or removed, call Harry, 841-4418. Deansboro is farm country. We visit the picturesque 500-acre Landis farm on Shanley Road. Mom and Dad aren't around today, but that doesn't slow down this farm. The Landis children are more than capable of handling the chores of this dairy and crop farm, named a dairy of distinction for its beauty. We grow corn, soybeans, triticale oats and many different kinds of hay. Uh, yeah, I have uh, a little shorthorn Holstein cross and she's, uh, I, I really like the red ones so she's, I was breeding for a red one and she came out red so she's really special. You can visit the Landis Farm Stand on Shanley Road in Deansboro. This time of year, there's strawberries and asparagus, as well as jams and jellies, soon followed by their peas and beans. We head further south to Brothertown Road to Sunnybrook Farm. 
This former apple orchard is now a grass-fed beef farm, run by third-generation farmer Dan Williams with help from his boys. Of course, they also have some pigs and chickens to keep things interesting. Well, the farm's been in the family since uh, 1969. Uh, it's transitioned from an apple orchard to dairy and from dairy to beef. Uh, it spanned three generations from my grandfather uh, to my father to myself. Well, basically, we are, our goal is to try to move these cattle once a day on fresh grass. And come winter time, we buy baleage uh, from my father's farm and feed the animals out. Uh, the goal is to minimize the amount of machinery needed and uh, to basically raise uh, good quality beef on grass. You can buy Sunnybrook Farm grass-fed beef at Williams Fence on Brothertown Road in Deansboro or through the Utica Food Shed Buying Club. Across the street from Sunnybrook Farm, in part of the original old apple orchard, is Jake's Gouda. Jacob Stolfus moved his family from Lancaster County to this small dairy farm in 1990. Recently, they expanded into the cheese business, specializing in Gouda. We're doing it about a year and a half now, and uh, we got started through Harold Schroeder. He's the man we bought the vat from. He's from the Netherlands. Uh, he, he was here a couple days and he had the recipes and he got us going. We were looking to make cheeses and for some reason that sort of took to us. It's a, it's a cheese that there's not a lot of it in the U.S. It's imported a lot. You can buy Jake's Gouda online at the Hamilton or Clinton Farmers Markets or local shops like Tom's Natural Foods in Clinton and North Star Orchards. Many of the farmers we visited this week mentioned the father of local rotational grazing, Troy Bishop, known as the Grass Whisperer. He manages the farm that was once his great-great-grandfather's, where he grazes organic dairy cows for local dairy farmers and educates people about sustainable agriculture. So this property right here is at the top of the Mohawk River watershed, and uh, this family farm has been in the, our family since 1872. So this farm is 100 acres and it's broken into 50 separate pastures. And then those pastures are rotated every day, twice a day. And that allows the grass to start at, like your lawn, four inches. And then by 50 days, it's ready to graze again. So we, we constantly rotate the cows to get fresh grass and that, that enhances the environment, gives us a profit and makes healthy cows. Farming is my passion. And grass farming in particular is what we do best here on the top of the hills in Deansboro. We have high lime soils. We're trying to protect our future generations. And um, it's a great place to have kids, um, teach them about life and death and animals and the environment and wildlife. Um, it's just a great place to live. To learn more about sustainable grazing and grass-based agriculture, or to take one of Troy's pasture walks, call Madison or Oneida County Soil and Water Conservation and ask for Troy Bishop, the Grass Whisperer, or visit thegrasswhisperer.com. Here's what's hot on the lot at Skinner and Demulis. We've got a hot one, a 2005 Chrysler 300, less than 60,000 miles, only $99.95. Just one of the great pre-owned vehicles at Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs. Pool have a leak? Need a repair? Call Trenton Corporation Pool Repair for prompt professional service seven days a week. Above ground and in ground leak locating, plumbing and fittings testing. Call 793-7400 and they'll hop to it.
Oscar's Picture Framing offers hand-finished molding and restoration of antique frames, preserving artwork, pictures, needlework, and memorabilia. Oscar's Picture Framing, Kellogg Road, New Hartford. Your home is your castle, so when you need windows, be sure to call the Window King. Call and speak directly to the owner about new vinyl replacement windows starting at just $2.59 each installed. Call the Window King today at 733-5500. Call Yannick Excavating for all your residential and commercial projects, from new construction and land clearing to septic systems, driveways, basements, ponds, and topsoil. Visit YannickExcavating.com. Hot new fashion is arriving daily at the Village Crossing, the Mohawk Valley's exclusive store for not your daughter's jeans. And check out Coexist Jewelry, handcrafted in Peterborough. Shop Shelter for handmade Adirondack furniture designed by craftsman Jim Kiefer. He works with you to create custom pieces to your specifications, from dining room and coffee tables to bookcases, beds, and bunks. Call or visit Shelter on Main Street in Old Forge. The Longaretta Law Firm, protecting your rights and advising you in matters of legal importance. Call for your free consultation, 735-6162. Expecting company? Just call Deansboro Superette. They prepare delicious Middle Eastern platters for any number of guests. Call 841-4377. If you're in a collision, you need Precision. Call your insurance company first and then choose Precision Unlimited. Providing expert auto body collision repair since 1987 on Route 5 in Clinton. I can't stand it when you're not around. I don't know quite what to do with myself. Believe it or not, strawberries are just coming out. It's a very early season this year. A lot had to do with the early spring, but a little warning because when you see the strawberries now, you should grab them. It's going to end earlier this year. In traditional strawberry season, this year you're going to see blueberries starting to come onto the market earlier. We've never picked before the 4th of July. This year you're going to see them by the end of June. This is going to be a year like no other. Whenever you do see a roadside stand with raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, rhubarb, you should stop because this year is going to be different. You're going to want to get out early. You're going to want to enjoy the benefit of all that rain we've gotten in the early season. We hope that you enjoyed today's show and our visit to Deansboro. It's always amazing the new things that we uncover when we come here. Uh, we hope that you'll join us again next week, that you will come again and that between now and then, you will enjoy Mohawk Valley living.